the all-knowing physician hath his finger on the pulse of mankind. He perceiveth the disease and prescribeth in his unerring wisdom the remedy. Every age hath its own problem and every soul its particular aspiration. The remedy the world needeth in its present day afflictions can never be the same as that which a subsequent age may require. Be anxiously concerned with the needs of the age ye live in, and centre your deliberations on its exigencies and requirements. We can well perceive how the whole human race is encompassed with great, with incalculable afflictions. We see it languishing on its bed of sickness, sore tried and disillusioned. They that are intoxicated by self-conceit have interposed themselves between it and the divine and infallible physician. Witness how they have entangled all men, themselves included, in the mesh of their devices. They can neither discover the cause of a disease nor have they any knowledge of the remedy. They have conceived the straight to be crooked and have imagined their friend an enemy. Incline your ears to the sweet melody of this prisoner. Arise and lift up your voices that haply they that are fast asleep may be awakened. Say, O ye who are as dead, the hand of divine bounty proffereth unto you the water of life. Hasten and drink your fill. Whoso hath been reborn in this day shall never die. Whoso remaineth dead shall never live. He who is your Lord the All-Merciful cherisheth in his heart the desire of beholding the entire human race as one soul and one body. Haste ye to win your share of God's good grace and mercy in this day that eclipseth all other created days. How great the felicity that awaiteth the man that forsaketh all he hath in a desire to obtain the things of God such a man we testify is among God's blessed ones. We have a fixed time for you, O peoples. If ye fail at the appointed hour to turn towards God, he verily will lay violent hold on you and will cause grievous afflictions to assail you from every direction. How severe indeed is the chastisement with which your Lord will then chastise you. O Kamal, the heights which through the most gracious favour of God mortal man can attain in this day are as yet unrevealed to his sight. The world of being hath never had nor doth it yet possess the capacity for such a revelation. Day, however, is approaching when the potentialities of so great a favour will, by virtue of his behest, be manifested unto men. Though the forces of the nations be arrayed against him, though the kings of the earth be leagued to undermine his cause, the power of his might shall stand unshaken. He verily speaketh the truth and summoneth all mankind to the way of him who is the incomparable, the all-knowing. All men have been created to carry forward an ever-advancing civilization. The Almighty beareth me witness. To act like the beasts of the field is unworthy of man. Those virtues that befit his dignity are forbearance, mercy, compassion, and loving kindness towards all the peoples and kindreds of the earth. Say, O oh friends, drink your fill from this crystal stream that floweth through the heavenly grace of him 
who is the Lord of names. Let others partake of its waters in my name, that the leaders of men in every land may fully recognize the purpose for which the eternal truth hath been revealed, and the reason for which they themselves have been created.